Hi, I'm Nessa and this is ESL Top 10. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. Today I want to show you 10 different ways, informal ways, that you can say bad without using the word bad. So 10 different ways you can say bad. These are informal phrases and words that mean bad. Starting with number one, suck. Okay, so suck here is a verb. It's not an adjective. So we can use it in different verb tenses. Suck means to be really bad. So if I say to you, how's the movie? that you saw last night and you want to say it was really bad, you could say it sucked. Or, hey, how's your trip going? Oh my God, Nessa, it sucks. It's been raining every single day. Do you want to go to the party tomorrow night? No, I think it's going to suck. Suck is a verb. Awesome informal way to say bad. Number two, a drag. What a drag. So a drag is a noun and here it means to be something that is boring or bad, especially situations, events in your life. For example, if you lose your passport or your wallet and you tell me about it, I could say, oh my god, what a drag. Ah, oh, what a drag. Or, ah, oh, I got a cold. I can't come with you to the party tonight. Oh, what a drag. I'm sorry. I hope you feel better tomorrow. What a drag. Number three, crappy. So crappy is sort of a child friendly ish <laughs> version of shitty. And it means bad. It's an adjective. So today the weather is super crappy or oh, what a crappy day, man. I had such a crappy day. Crappy. Number four is a noun you probably know. A disaster. Now I'm not talking about a literal disaster like a hurricane or an earthquake. I just mean something that is really, really bad. So how was your trip? Oh, it was terrible. Our flights were late. It rained every day. The food was terrible. It was a disaster. So you're using this word disaster metaphorically. So you don't mean actually a disaster. Number five, here's a noun you can use to describe a really bad movie. Or if you're into Broadway and musicals, um, you can use it for those as well. A flop. So if you are expecting to see a movie that you think is going to be really good and then you go see it and it's terrible, terrible of course means really, really bad, you could say, oh my god, that movie was a flop. Now you can also see this in um, reviews about movies. If a movie does very badly in the box office, meaning it doesn't make as much money as people had predicted, they can also call it a flop. So stay away from flops. Number six, off. Off here, even though it's usually a preposition, is used as an adjective. Off also means bad. We use this to talk about food. Oh, I think this milk has gone off or it's off. I can also use it to describe my physical condition. I'm just feeling a little off today. I think I've got a fever. Maybe I should go home to be off. The next one, number seven, I'm going to give you two here because they have the same meaning. They can be used in the same context. Nasty and gross. So nasty and gross. I usually use these two adjectives to describe maybe again food when it's really disgusting. So like cheese that's really, really, really moldy or a piece of chicken that's been sitting in your fridge for two weeks and smells terrible. You could say, oh my God, that's nasty. Oh my God, oh my God, oh. Or you could also say, oh, that's gross. You can also use it for really dirty places, like hopefully not your bathroom in your old high school. You could say, oh my God, that's nasty. Oh, ugh, gross. Nasty and gross. The next one, there's two also here. They're basically the same rough and tough. So I use these two adjectives to describe my day or my week or my month if it's a very difficult period of time. So how was your day? Oh, it was really tough. Or how was your day, Nessa? Oh, it was really rough, man. Or again, you could say, oh, I'm having a tough week. 
it's not feeling well. I'm feeling a little off or I'm having a tough month. Why, Nessa? I don't know. Things are just so crappy right now at home. Number nine, to be all over the place to be all over the place. Oh my God, it's all over the place. We can use these to talk about, I think of presentations or maybe um, a movie whose plot is like super disorganized. You know, there's no structure. Or maybe um, someone writes a proposal at work, but it's very unclear. You could say, um, I'm sorry, but this proposal or this presentation is all over the place. Can you please redo it? And number 10, I saw this on the news the other day, be careful how you use it. So if someone expresses um, their opinion and you think it's a bad opinion, or maybe someone um, tells you a story, they're looking for sympathy, but you don't think they deserve sympathy, you can just say this, are you ready? <laughs> it's kind of like fake sympathy pretty sarcastic. So be careful with that one. So those are my 10 ways you can say bad without using the word bad. My advice is take a couple of these that you really like and make sure you use them in the next 24 hours. If you don't have a lot of chances to speak in English, post on social media. Talk about a bad situation. Please subscribe to ESL Top 10. I'd love to have you here as part of our awesome community and download your freebie for this lesson by checking the links below. What's in the freebie? Your free PDF worksheet comes with these 10 words with definitions and examples, plus 15 other common ways to say bad, like awful, terrible, dreadful, with lots of examples. I am Nessa, this is ESL Top 10, and I'll see you right back here next time. Wow.